welcome because we're really excited um, to be here with you guys tonight. I'm actually from in Miami Beach. Finally, I just came back from Greenwich yesterday and uh, wondered why I shouldn't stay a little bit longer. It's very hot here, very humid. <laughs> uh, but of course, humidity is very good for the skin, right? Yeah. So uh, Dr. Deidre will tell you, humidity will keep you young for a long time. You may not like how it makes your hair look, but your skin will look really good. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're happy to be here with you guys and our whole team is on with us. And we have, I don't know, Lee said over 1,500 people this evening, which is super exciting. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about, you know, skincare and taking care of our most important, largest organ. Lar right? lar our largest organ is our, yeah. is our skin. And you do a very good job of it. Andrew takes it very seriously. He has a, a great, actually a great skincare regimen, which I think we're getting ready to publish, right? Well, yes, I, have, I wanted to get a nice image put together so I can do it properly. Okay, it'll, well, it'll we're going to hurry up awesome. Sabrina with that yeah. image of his no, and get him moving does. fast. Yeah. But we're just so happy to do this with you guys. And I think what's so special about tonight is that we have some great guests on with us. We have Vina, who everybody, if you haven't had the opportunity to talk with her or meet with her or seen her do a session. She knows so much about skincare and she has a very successful skincare studio that she has really implemented a lot of, well, everything that we do actually into her program and uh, what she does. And then we have one of my favorites of all time, Dr. Deidre on with us, who I love, who's going to, you know, talk about a little bit about the, the effectiveness and how powerful the ingredients are in some of the skincare treatments that we're going to talk about this evening. Um, so it's going to be a very exciting night. And so we all came cleansed and fresh and clean so we can apply and roll together tonight, which is really going to be fun. Hi, Shondell. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, it's going to be a great time. So I think what we're going to do is really just kind of get started. Right, guys? Is everybody ready yep. for that? I'm ready. And Lee, do you want to say anything or Lisa? I think just no. I mean, if you guys want, you can kind of see the panelist view or you can see the speaker view. You can kind of control, you know, how you see things. But I'm just really excited to go over some of my favorite products, too. So I'm ready to get started. That's going to be great. And Lauren, I know, I know you wanted to oh my gosh. highlight the, the blog post that you wrote up with showing people how to post for 20 yeah. days of skin. Oh, yes. And thank you, Sabrina, for reminding me of that. So we um, wait, is the blog post up yet? Yes, it's up. Okay, on good. So one blog of the blog. things that we talked about last week, which I love seeing you guys sharing the hashtag and seeing your before and afters. And when I talk about your before and afters, I mean, some of them are so remarkable. Trista, you have been amazing and your difference has been really inspirational to a lot of people, especially me. I've been following you do it every night. Kitty is remarkable. All of you are. And there's so many of you doing it. And here's the thing. I noticed that a lot of you guys are posting in the mode of skincare group and that's wonderful, but I want you to post on your own page also. And here's why. That's what's going to get your audience, the people who follow you, it's going to get attention because they're going to see your before and after. If I saw, if I didn't know Trista and I saw her before and after, I would obviously ask her what she's doing because just the difference in the color of her skin looks so great, but they're not going to find you in the private group of Moto Skincare uh, on Facebook. They're just not. And so that's why we create these hashtags. So I searched the hashtags and then I find many of you, but I don't find all of you because you're posting only in that group. So here's the thing that's happening. I don't see you, which I want to see you because this challenge is so important for me to see the results. And I know people are having a lot of results. We know that. And then the other thing is I want your own network to see you. So you might have some friends or, or, or family that you've never shared our products with. And this is a great way to start a conversation, right? Perfect. Yes. I mean, this is just like almost like the trial run. You start to try it out and you introduce things to people that you wouldn't normally do because you're afraid to do it. And so this is a great way to have a conversation with somebody that you've never had before. But if you don't share it on your own page, you can't grow your business. And I want you to be able to grow your business at the same time we're doing the challenges together. Does that make sense to everybody? I hope so. Uh, yeah. And that's so that's really important. So if you guys can make sure you use the hashtag, because that's what I search. That's why we create them. So the hashtag makes it trackable. Um, and then you can post in both places so we can see what you're doing. But I'm, I actually search just simply through the hashtag and I can't find you if you're just in that group because uh, and nor can 
potential customers. So that's really key. And I want to make sure you guys do that because everybody's, there's so many posts. If you go to Facebook, Instagram, people are really posting. I saw a whole bunch on TikTok last night and I don't personally post on TikTok, but I searched to see and people are doing a great job. And some of the, just the day ones to day 14s are so dramatic for people. They're just the color of the skin. It's just phenomenal. So we're really proud of you. And I hope that you understand and realize that, like I said before, this is about many people have our products and they don't use them. Some people have our products and they're not consistent with them. And some people have never bought the product at all. And this is simply about consistency. So you can see the difference. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And Lauren, I just want to piggyback on that a little bit and encourage everybody that this is just part of our culture. It's what we do now. And the goal of this is it's whenever your 28 day starts, right? Some people are two weeks in, some people just started. Some of you will start after tonight. Um, but most importantly, encourage your customers to start. This is really just all about empowering you to know that if you do something every day for 28 days, not only are you prioritizing yourself and you're gonna look and feel better, but your business is gonna grow, of course. But I think just knowing that you're completing your goal, right? And it'll hopefully uh, sort of catapult you into other aspects of your life, knowing that, okay, if I'm consistent and I'm dedicated, I can achieve these things. So um, it's kind of all sorts of empowerment, right? Absolutely, that's so. great. All right. Well, I think all of our featured guests are on. That's and fantastic. And I think we're excited because we're going to learn a lot from Vina tonight. And, and Dr. Deidre, I think she's still here, right? Yeah, there she is. And so I'm just excited to, to start, right? We're all fresh. We're all clean. I mean, who does Zooms without these makeup? Of course, you do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I get I'm it. Fresh. I'm always fresh. I'm for all of us. Um, so I'm just going to turn it over and introduce mm -hmm. Vina real quick. Uh, like Lauren said, many of you have learned from her and know her. She is a certified trainer with our company. She was awarded as the certified trainer of the year, which is huge accolade. Um, and she's just spent a lot of time mentoring a lot of people really all across the globe. A lot of our international markets have learned from her. And she's a paramedical esthetician who had her own skincare line for quite some time. And Vina, I'll let you share a little bit about your story. But really partnered with our company for beauty from the inside out. And after doing research on the quality and the integrity of the product, she decided to start implementing the products, not only as part of the services for her clients, but also as an extension of service for their at home use in between their visits with her. So, um, you know, we appreciate you, Vina. We're excited to learn from you tonight. Yes. And um, we're just gonna have fun and she's gonna walk us through what we're supposed to do, right? That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And what I want to know is why is it lately every time I'm on social media or on a Zoom, I have no makeup on? I mean, I've been <laughs> caught up with no makeup how many times? I remember telling Lisa, there's not a chance that I will ever go on social media with no makeup on. And then Lauren started this 28 day skincare challenge. And I mean, I'm a team player, right? So exactly. I came on and look great. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So here's a really exciting thing um, about what I do. I love it. I have a passion for it. But here's the biggest thing everyone should know. I am so particular, not only what I put my name on or what I put my name behind. And so when I first uh, got with Mark in America three years ago, I wasn't interested in the skincare. And Lauren, I'll tell you what, I remember JR, we were on Utopia 3. And I remember JR coming up to me and saying, so you're an esthetician, you're doing skincare. I'm like, no. He's like, wait, he looked at me like I had two heads. He's like, what? But see, you know, they say you don't know what you don't know, right? I didn't know, I didn't realize at that time what an amazing uh, clinically tested result producing products that we had. I just wanted the nutritionals because I have my own skincare line. I really didn't need any others. And then Lisa asked me to, to do maybe a little video. Well, that's pretty smart because when I started, before I could do the video, I started looking at the product. I remember calling her and saying, Lisa, are you sure that these products have these ingredients? Because as someone that actually, I didn't just slap my own name on these products. I actually had my own lab. I had my own ingredients. 
I, there's no way I could afford these ingredients. They were so amazing. So I was blown away. At that point, I started bringing them into my studio. Well, life happens. And I ended up not being able to sustain my own skincare line. So anyone out there that thinks you want to go out and get your own skincare line, call me. I'll tell you <laughs> about the headaches, right? But here's what's so amazing. I have four of the most, like I said, clinically tested result producing products on the market that number one, they, this company is so amazing about making sure that we're protected. As a professional esthetician, that's why I went to my own product line because I was tired of being undersold on all these social media lines, right? I would work really hard. And any of you that are uh, professionals out there, you know that you work really, really hard for these products and then they go on somewhere else because other companies are allowing them to buy it cheaper. Lauren, I remember when you were standing on stage and I remember the passion you had and you said, there's no way anyone's ever going to sell your products cheaper than what you can sell them for. And I'll be honest with you. I went, oh, that's sweet. Really? But guess what? She did it. She did it. And she still continues to do it. This company still continues to back us up like that. So any professional is out there and you're looking for a new skincare line, you talk to me. I will tell you how amazing and tonight that's what we're going to go through a little bit about ingredients uh, a little because i i am an ingredients um guru i love ingredients and then you have you have people like dr d i mean how amazing you have someone you have that kind of reference that can get on and and really tell us about the ingredients as well so tonight i'm sure everyone has washed their face and toned their skin right but here's the thing i want to bring up when you wash your face, a lot of, I see a lot of makeup artists on here. What they do is they take their Modi's wipes and they wipe off their makeup first and they go to wash their skin, right? Well, do you guys realize we have a cleanser, a micellar cleanser. What this cellular cleanser, micellar cleanser does is it not just lifts off the dirt, it pulls it out of the pores, right? Because of their technology, again, there's a lot of skincare lines out there, but they can't even touch the technology that this company has with these products, especially the Lumia de V. So this actually has a technology that literally lifts like a magnet, the products out of the pores. So I'm gonna tell you makeup artists out there, it's great you're using the Modi's wipes, they're phenomenal, right? But you need to follow that up. Even before you wash, you need to follow up with a micellular cleanser. Another big reason why is sensitivity. I know, Lauren, you go to different um, countries, you go to different states. And, and have very sensitive skin. Right? And so the, the water can really cause havoc. You don't even have to use water with this particular product. It is a cleanser that is water free. So all my clients out there that have really sensitive skin that tend to even with water really red up, really rosy colored up, this is an amazing product. I used to take it with me on the plane so that before I landed, I would go through it and clean everything up and touch everything up. That's so, so great. Amazing. And I can see Martha and Trista are doing it right now. <laughs> yes. And, and here's the other thing. I'm glad Martha's using it on her eyes because there's a lot of women out there that have the um, lash extensions. And they're always told with lash extensions, be careful of what you put on your eyes. Guess what? The ingredients in this product, it won't, cause any of your eyelashes to come out that you that are glued in because it doesn't doesn't have the oil in where a lot of cleansers do and so it won't allow the eyelashes to disengage so oh, you don't want the glue so that's so cool what a great idea keep, i used yeah. to put on this keep your eyelashes you couldn't do that yeah yeah. <laughs> right? yeah i stopped doing it because i would lose my lashes you're right now yeah. we don't have to Right, right. So I love that cleanser. And I just wanted to throw that in there because I think it's so important that we, we really start using that more. And right before you cleanse, I always tell everyone, I'm sure you guys always wash twice, then we pH. And the next we're going to do is we're going to start talking about serums. Now listen, serums are your heavy hitters. Serums have the molecular structure to actually work deep into the skin. So that being said, we're going to talk about some really heavy hitters right now. So the first one I'm going to talk about is our needle free. Now I'm going to talk about a few of them. So you guys choose what works for you, but I'm going to tell you, I wish I had a bathtub full of this needle free serum. It's so amazing and brilliant. 
So if anyone, any of you guys have ever been to any of my, um, my trainings, you know that I get super excited when we come, when we start talking about the need of free serum, especially since it has the neodermal in it. So the neodermal, that's a glucose compound and it's, it's from amino acids, but what it's doing is firming your skin. But here's the thing about the neodermal. It's amazing. Do you know, just using this, that particular ingredient over a two week period can reduce the length and depth of wrinkle by 86%. So yes, you guys, if you have it handy, put a couple pumps on. And what you want to do is you just want to press that into those areas, right? Now, it also, and this is why I think this product is so brilliant, the Needle Free Serum by Lumiere de V. It has a lifting and express. So those polysaccharides, they give you rapid results. So, you know, we'll tell, our, we'll tell everyone, hey, you can use this and it's going to reduce the length and depth of your wrinkles by 86% in two weeks. Now, it's hard to stay with a product that you're going, okay, it's going to take two weeks. But here's the brilliance of this. They added the Lifting and Express. It's going to show rapid results. I think I remember seeing, Lauren, I think I'm right. I remember seeing Andrew. And, with Jim, a, and Andrew and Jim, they were the models. For oh, the that's right. With the, yeah, okay. And if you put extra up here, yeah, rub that on, yeah. a little extra up there, you'll see by the end of the show. Yeah, I remember. That's his, we, I mean, in a matter of minutes, we, yeah. we did. And we put out his thing and you'll see. It's true. Because Andrew has great skin, but he does have some forehead lines not a lot but he does have some we all have something right, right. Yes. but look what happens yeah. look what happens and you don't need to let raise your eyebrows because then you emphasize it but see what happens when he gets it in there right yeah. away it really does help instantly that's what i was going to mention i'm glad you said it yeah and and that's brilliant i mean honestly everyone that's ever been to any of my um trainings will tell you i get so excited i do not know why we even have any in stock this should be a sold out product because it's so brilliant um i have a lot of clients that when they do get fillers and they go in and get fillers we have um medical spas that send this out with them right because in case they miss something this kind of helps fill it in so you guys here's the thing let that product work for you you don't have to do heavy lifting with this product you just need to put it in Right. Well, and the good oh. thing is, is right now during COVID, when you can't get, if you're used to doing fillers or Botox, yeah. I love doing Botox and before, but Andrew and I were laughing because it's been a year and I can't believe the 20 day challenge has helped me so much, but I've been more religious than ever with skincare. And I just think this makes such a huge difference. And I think what Venus said is so important when you kind of give this um, to your customers and they see the before and after within minutes, it's really pretty dramatic. And the product really sells itself. The only thing is you have to share it. You have to talk about it, right? Yeah, it encourages you to continue using it. When you see that rapid of a result, so I, I like to say that result's a good time. The long time comes in when the neodermal kicks in over those next two weeks. And then you're gonna see some amazing results with that neodermal. It is phenomenal so that actually is one of my number one selling products because you see the results now and in two weeks you're going to see that longer lasting result as well so i love that so as we said and as you saw everyone do you just want to push that into the skin now there's two other products that you can use one is a vitamin c mm. now we have a vitamin c serum it's phenomenal and i believe yes That's the new. vitamin c serum new packaging yeah. It's yes, the new yeah, show that I you just heard about that. So a little closer. Can you see? Can you see? So we have new packages. So I was just gonna say so beautiful. Lumiere's going more that look. It's so beautiful. It's gonna be I love yeah, what really you guys nice. are doing, you and Amber, with that. But this is such a great product. So elegant. And and here's here's the other thing. So when you just need to put in a couple drops, this is a stabilized vitamin C. Yeah. Now what does that mean, Dr. G? I know how excited you were when you were talking about that, that stabilized vitamin C, right? That was an idea. So, so what that is, is that, you know, when you, when you see vitamin C out there and it's very, um, it's one of those vitamin Cs that just literally fall off your skin. Right. That means that it is not a stabilized vitamin C. But the other thing that makes this so amazing is a couple things. One, it has ectonin in it. So that is water binding. So that's going to keep you there hydration, which I think is phenomenal. Now, optimum use for the vitamin C is going to be in the morning time. You can use it morning or night. 
But I will tell you, if you use it in the morning, this is going to be more optimal than when you use it in the nighttime because of the pH balance of your skin, mm -hmm. right? Now, after 30 days, I've been watching on, on our social media and a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, my skin is so much brighter. It looks amazing. Well, two things. Number one, it's not drying your skin down. Number two, it's helping with the cellular renewal. It's also helping with the fine lines. And do you know after 30 days, it becomes a chemical exfoliant, which means your skin is actually going to exfoliate after 30 days with using a vitamin C, especially, especially a stabilized. Go ahead, Dr. D. I want to pop in there because the ectoin should not be looked over. Um, right. So like your, uh, and you know, we have this in our super cream as well. And even like the glycosaminoglycans, that you mentioned that are part of the neodermal, like that's all about buoyancy. When someone says, I don't believe that things are gonna work, right? It's about what we're trying to create is more buoyancy, more fill in thinning skin. And those, those glycoaminoglycans do that. And they're glycosides that are also in the vitamin C. So you're gonna get some of those benefits, but there's a huge amount of benefit or a huge amount of magic in the ectoin. Ectoin is, um, a way to also, you mentioned uh, stabilizing and hydration, but it's a way to get the skin biome to kind of regulate itself. And so it's not just your gut bugs, your gut biome that need to be good, your oral biome that needs to be good, but your skin needs to defend you and it needs to create a healthy hydrating barrier. And ectoin has been shown to stop uh, issues with dry skin where now issues of redness, irritation can creep in there because you just don't have a healthy skin mantle. Um, so that skin biome is really well created with ectoin. So it's a very exciting and dynamic product when you compare it to other vitamin Cs. Frankly, vitamin C oxidizes quite quickly. So, um, you know, that's why we've got it in the specialized bottles, whether we went from the amber bottle to the new bottle it's because we want to make sure that it's going to work on your skin but we added really functional ingredients to what other people just paid attention to with the vitamin c that's powerful well said, that that's powerful yeah and i and i love that you brought up the barrier of the skin too because that is the biggest thing right now that i'm teaching on is that we need a healthier barrier i mean the one thing we're all doing is wearing a mask and with those masks, what's happening is it is breaking down the barrier of the skin. So that's why you're starting to see out there um, a lot of rashes. Um, it's because that we're actually having an attack on the barrier of the skin. So I'm glad you brought that up with these particular products and also with the needle free because of the plant base is actually helping to build a stronger barrier for our skin. So yeah. yes. Sorry to stop you, but somebody wants to know if it's okay if they have rosacea, will it make it worse to use vitamin C or does it help out? So, so rosacea is a slow microcirculation issue. Um, anytime you're using the vitamin C, we're looking at a couple different things. Number one, people typically that have that have dehydrated skin. So this is going to help with the hydration with the skin. It's going to help with the blood flow of the skin. So, uh, it should not, in my opinion, Dr. D can say something, but my opinion, as far as rosacea, they're going to see some major benefits. But again, they definitely want to make sure they use it in the morning time. Right. And, you know, adding to that, of course, anyone with very sensitive skin, as they're trying to get it under control, we always call these things a healing crisis. There's mm -hmm. always going to be a potential for a healing crisis where things get a little bit worse before they get better. And we need to kind of push through that um, a little bit because we're going to create that barrier. But that broken skin um, can be irritated by touching your, touching your face with your hands, you know, let alone other, ing other ingredients. So you may try, as Vina's mentioning, um, morning times, uh, you may uh, you may try to use singular ingredients um, so that you you know have a better understanding about um, you know you, we don't want to be like throwing stuff at our face like a salad shooter right so you want to maybe try um, 
um, a smaller regimen and start to acclimate to that and start to heal as you go. But, but do That's know so and, 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 and manage expectations with your customers. Mm-hmm. And they, they should know that things, some, whether we're talking about health and nutrition or skincare, things can get a little bit worse before they get better. You had something you wanted to change, something that you wanted a treatment for. So we're going to move in that direction. I feel like that was brilliant because healing crisis, I love that term, but you're right. People sometimes will get worse before they get better. And it's part of the healing process, right? Yeah, it it absolutely is. With the allotonin also, right, Dr. D, that we have in in the Lumi de V Mm -hmm. that is really formulated for people that have the sensitive skin. So just with that one ingredient, it's going to help desensitize. And that's the biggest thing we want to look at doing is desensitizing the skin. So, I mean, I'm sure you've heard how many people say they have really sensitive skin when they're just really using the wrong products for their skin. So that's why as beauty advisors, we are literally taking them step by step through all these ingredients and these products. So, yeah. Um, So did everyone get their vitamin C on? And did you, did you have to rub it in? You shouldn't have to rub it in. You should be able to just literally pat that in the skin, right? That's what I experienced. Yeah. And by the way, just as a little tip, anytime I have extra product, Andrew knows, I never let it waste. Make sure don't don't forget your neck and always do your hands. So that's why you always see me do my hands and I'll do my chest with vitamin C because sun damage always hits our chest really. So I always make sure don't let product go to waste. Make sure you're covering your hands, your elbows, places that the sun would hit, you know, um, your neck, your chest, all of that's so important. Because, right, I think Dr. Deja will tell you, your age really shows in your neck at some point. Her and I talk about this and make jokes about it all the time. And yeah, we joke about we joke about the fact that I think I have Zoom neck. No, you <laughs> talk to people you like don't. this. You don't. You're gorgeous. <laughs> he says that all the time, and I don't I understand. So hot. She looks great. I'm not showing you my biceps. I'm just pulling my skin back. <laughs> no, we love it. You look so hot. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish I looked like Dr. D. Oh my goodness. I watched your video on the rolling. You were on it. That was so amazing. Awesome. Um, so, the, so the next thing we're going to talk about, and this is something honestly that this is our retinol. I cannot say enough about the retinol, but now listen, I want to tell you something before you put that retinol on. It's in- incredibly important that you put your eye serum on first right? You want to make sure that eye serum goes on. And people ask me all the time, the eye bomb, we have the Lumia to be eye bomb. People ask me all the time, well, why are we doing that? We don't want to cross with our products. We do not want to put the retinol underneath the eyes. You want to keep that below the occipital bone. So it's really, really important that uh, that retinol will go on after your eye cream. Because you don't want to put your fingers up underneath your eyes, right? I'll put that stuff everywhere. <laughs> I'm learning new stuff. Oh yeah. my goodness. And I like, do you know, because our, our eye cream, just so you guys know, has phenoxide in it. So I put that, I know it sounds crazy, but I always put it on my lip so because I. it actually stimulates circulation. So it gives your lips a nice pump. And I always do that before I go to bed and first thing when I wake up because it'll stimulate collagen, it'll stimulate the circulation. And then what happens is you get a nice perky lip. Now, and and that's a a great segue because here's the thing. We also wanna make sure we give our skin time to absorb what we've already done. Now tonight, because of time, we're kind of applying it a little quicker, but it's really important that we layer and not combine, okay? So you always wanna layer the different serums that you're using, okay. depending on what your skin type is, but don't combine them. In other words, don't be a chemist. Don't mix them together and put them on at one time. So you want to make sure your skin has that time to actually absorb it. So, you know, Dr. D, tell them what you do. <laughs> I okay, love Dr. No, D's is, ways between yeah, skincare. Here, so um, it's really important for skincare treatments, serums and the like, Uh, treatment or therapies like the retinol that they have time in particular with the retinol that they have time to absorb to your skin and bind to your skin. What we want them to do is adhere to you, 
penetrate and there's some different ways that we can manipulate the skin to help it penetrate. That's one of the benefits of the mechanical rolling with the jade roller or some other things that we're very excited to talk about pretty soon that can help with penetration of um, serums into the skin. But what I do to ensure that I don't end up just making um, a potpourri of all of my products and just rubbing them on and saying, I'm good, right? If I do body weight squats in between, all of my um, my serum layers. Love it. And I get my body weight squat fin. I get my my booty round, and <laughs> I give my body enough time to let the the serums dry on my skin. About and how I many reps? <laughs> even, if you even if you do ten squats, that's genius. How many yeah. are you talking about here, teacher? <laughs> so now we're gonna have to do like a 28 day skincare challenge and 10 squats in between. <laughs> and whose booty's looking the best with the new sculpting cream. We need before and after. <laughs> right, because I do, I do plenty, but right, it one would be more than a lot of people do during a day. By the end of a 28 day skincare challenge, just add up how many body weight squats you did, right? There are people out there that I just need them to do one more, right? And at the end of, even if it's one in the beginning, right? Then the next day you make sure you do two and then you do three and at the end of <laughs> Go Lauren. <laughs> I'm just doing it while you're doing it. Yeah, I'm getting it in. Oh my goodness. So, I, I, I mean, she's really so good. efficient. <laughs> if, for those of us- like your, And we all like your booty, Dr. D, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm, it's working. <laughs> she does squats while she's- Oh my goodness. Well, for those of us that are not as ambitious, I I actually put my after sun on or my or my Lumi TV moisturizer on. And that that's true. And I yeah. think I think I think what Dina said though is so important because taking the time between products is so important. You know, I never really understood that till when I was at my dermatologist one day. She said, Are you allowing your skin between layers to take some time to absorb the product? And I I just didn't understand that. I was like, no, because my husband's screaming in the other room saying how much longer? And, and I, and I always am in a rush trying to hurry up and do it. But now I'm like, do you want me to have really great skin and look like this type of skin for 51 years old? you got to be able to take some time to do what you got to do. Give some time, JR. Just relax exactly, honey. Give me a little time. <laughs> So the retinol is so amazing, you guys. I'm gonna tell you, the retinol is for all skin type. It is, it is phenomenal. So obviously it's a natural occurring form of vitamin A, but it helps with the cellular turnover. Now, even today I had a client ask me, well, it, it normally, you know, retinol normally drives my skin out. Well, here's the difference with our retinol and anyone else's is that it has a polypore 120. So what does that mean? It's in, in an encapsulated form. So it's really sustainable. So it's going to slowly release rather than just go on the skin and dry the skin down and dry the skin oh, out, right? Man. So it's really important. You don't have to use a lot, but here's what's another really important thing you want to make sure you do is that not only do you want to do your face, you want to do your neck, you want to do your decollete especially at nighttime. You literally want to make sure you go all the way down here. It's so incredibly important to do all of those areas. Now, you know how much Dr. D loves ectonin? It's also in a retinol. It's so amazing. it also has water binding peptides. I just want to say that ret the R retinol is so important. If you struggle with like the beginning, like you, you think at 20, you don't see fine lines, but that's when they really start to form. I hate to break it to you youngins out there, but when you're 20, that's when you start to get fine lines. I don't have many fine lines. Oh, yeah. I'm actually taking care of my skin for a long time, but that's when you start to really get fine lines. And this will make the biggest difference and the those superficial fine lines, and you will see a difference. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. You know, a little goes a long way, but there's some, you mentioned youth, and I think that's important because while there's a lot of people that don't think that they need skincare when they're young and their skin is cherub-like and those sorts of things, I want us to go back to, um, if you ever had to visit a dermatologist, maybe a friend in middle school had to visit a dermatologist, vitamin A was very often what we were recommending for acne skin, for problematic and combination skin. Um, for individuals that are prone to breakouts, that are prone to really irritated skin that just cannot uh, keep a healthy mantle, retinoic acid can be very 
and retinol creams can be very beneficial for them. So I don't want you to miss out on uh, a client demographic that says my skin's too sensitive. If anything touches it, it breaks out. Remember what Venus said, this has the polypore system. So it's a sustained release vitamin A. Um, it is when compared to other products, it is a, I mean, this is something you're gonna see across the Lumiere de V line, very potent ingredients, um, a real respect for what is needed to put into a product to mitigate change in skin. And that's one of the benefits that we have with our retinol cream is a high enough percentage to show benefit, but a sustained release. So sensitive skin, broken skin can still get a lot of benefit. Do not let the youth get away. They, um, I'm not just from prevention is medicine, right? So starting early is, uh, is so wicked smart, wicked smart. But you have to but also know that it's really good for people that don't think they would ever be a candidate for a, a serum on their skin, right? Dermatologists recommend retinoic acid all the time. To I was going to say, if you go to any dermatologist, that's the, always the number one product they recommend as soon as you start to hit like 28, 29, 30. They always tell you, of course, sunscreen, which we have and everybody should be using, but the retinol product, because that is the product that they will really be able to tell a big difference with those fine superficial lines. It's, it's really important to use at a young age. And I, and I love that it doesn't matter the sensitivity of the skin because of the encapsulation, all skin types can use this. And that's really important because I've had, I've had a very sensitive skin my entire life. I have rosacea. And because of that, there was retinols I could never use. I actually never could use a retinol until we brought this out. And because of the encapsulated formula and the slow release, I've seen some tremendous difference with me. But that's why I'm telling, it's really important to the chest area. Because if you think about how we sleep or how we move, um, we have we have lifelines. I call them lifelines that come along here, right? So we really, right? So I love the retinol. And before we get too much further, um, I thought we would bring up one of my favorite creams. Now, we talked about our serums. Our serums are our really heavy hitters, right? But we have an amazing cream. It's actually called a super cream. And this super cream has an ingredient that I know Dr. D is like dying to talk about. But I really, you know, Lauren, uh, you, had, you had told me a little bit about your story on this and what makes this super cream so incredible. And if you guys ever just look up that ingredient alone, it's the trans eczemic acid. This is such a powerful, not only an anti-inflammatory, but it's actually working with the melanocyte. So it inhibits the tylenase enzyme that creates the melanocytes that creates the hyperpigmentation or melasma. Now, yeah. Lauren, like I said, if you don't mind, I know you told that amazing story. I'd love for you to tell everyone about it. Well, and I think, um, and Dr. Deidre knows it very well, actually, but, you know, I have, you know, I, I don't struggle with acne and I don't struggle with a lot of fine lines because I really have done very good skincare since I'm a very young age, you know, from, I, I can remember at 18, like spending 15 minutes in the bathroom. But um, I have struggled with hyperpigmentation my whole life. And I know that Dr. Deidre will talk about the fact that it's not always my fault. There are some people who bake in the sun and they're gonna have that problem. I'm not a baker. Don't sit in the sun, I wear 50 on my face. I wear our Lumiere now, our Lumiere sunscreen. Um, I don't go in the sun, Andrew will tell you. I keep my blinds closed in the house during the day. I do everything I can to keep sun off of my face because I know that all we're gonna do is pay for that later in life. Um, and our skin just can't recover from that type of damage. And so the hyperpigmentation um, has been a problem for me. Some people have a pregnancy mask that they get. I know Dr. Deidre, I had a mask around my forehead and I had a mask around my mouth and Jackie's nodding because she knows it took me a long time to get past this. And in 2016 or 17, my dermatologist, and I go to the very best dermatologist in the country had recommended um, and I know I say it wrong, I say transeximic acid, but um, I, he recommended the prescription pill for me. And he said, it's not made for that, but one of the benefits of that prescription pill is that your skin hyperpigmentation will disappear very quickly, very fast. But the negative, as Dr. Deidre will tell you, and she told me too, you must do a blood test every 30 days, correct Deidre? And, um, and I, I did that for a short period of time until they said, you know what, 
they really, even though that it had great benefits for hyperpigmentation, that's not what the, the product was made for, not the prescription. And so they didn't know how it would handle my body with contraceptives, things of that nature, blood clots, all types of things, your hormones. And so um, they decided to take me off of it. And that's when we formulated the super cream, right, Dr. Deidre? Exactly. You know, and Vina had mentioned the melanocytes. I, I want to kind of focus on something again, because it brings us back to a theme uh, or a common thread throughout the Lumiere DV products. Vina had mentioned that the transacamic acid has an impact on the melanocytes. Well, you guys, those are in the basal layer, bottom of the seven layers of skin. So when we think about this being a topical, what, what I want you guys to appreciate about that is its ability to penetrate and again, mitigate change through multiple layers of the skin. We've paid very close attention to uh, changing the way with this specific ingredient and to uh, lighten uh, um, a, you know, a luminosity to the skin um, by using amino acids. This penetrates deep into the skin, can have an impact on the melanocytes, can have an impact on protection from the inside of the skin. So, you know, Lauren, you had mentioned sun damage. And I, I really want us to think about the people that will benefit. Of course, it's people that want spot treatment, right? And you're going to run into people that ask about fading fluid versus the super cream. And there's an answer for that. But and you want to think about spot treatment. So the melasma, like the mask of pregnancy that you mentioned, Lauren, people that are just prone to hyperpigmentation, this could be on the back of the hand, start getting creative, start thinking about different places where people see um, age spots, right? But there's a group of people that we may not be thinking about. And it's this side of the face, like think about you being a driver in a vehicle, right? This side right. of your face is constantly being exposed to a very different spectrum of light than this side of your face. You're gonna notice fine lines and wrinkles, line depth and length on this side of your face more than you're gonna notice it on the other side. And so being able to protect the skin um, in, in a way from dark pigmentation, um, age spots, um, hormone related um, dark spots on the skin, because of how deeply this penetrates. And there's, this is, this is gonna be hugely, hugely beneficial. I wanna tell you something that's magical. Um, we use a two and a half percent TA in this product. Um, you guys, that's an eight week <coughs> support, meaning studies being done on this percentage of TA show then in as little as eight weeks, being able to see resolution to these age spots, these hyperpigmentation, right? So, Vina, you mentioned that people want um, the results now. They're not willing to wait for these things. And so being able to give someone an idea of what they can expect manages their expectations. But this is across all of the skincare line. We have a, if we get an opportunity to talk about the new Lumiere to be Astoril um, Gelée, um, again, something that can penetrate all seven layers of the skin. Did you hear it? All seven layers of the skin. It's amazing right? And again, this is hydration, this is collagen building, this is getting all of the cells to communicate. Um, uh, and these are two spot solutions. The super cream is spot care. And um, that's why it doesn't replace fading fluid. The trend, the, the new jelly um, is about, um, you know, uh, working on the delicate skin of the face being like knowing that you have a very, very powerful treatment. Ridiculously uh, excited for what's about to happen. I, me too. I, and I want us to talk about that product after two. And I just want to mention one more thing. So when I got off the TA that was prescription and, and Dr. Deidre knows, because I was literally having to do every 30 days of blood test. That's when I panicked and I said, Kim, Deidre, Marty, we have to come out with the product with TA in it. At the time, nobody in the States had had it. It was overseas, Jackie, if you remember in Asia. And I can tell you, Jackie will tell you, I had a struggle when I put on makeup because if I put makeup on, it only emphasized my dark spots. It was, I really struggled with it emotionally. And then when we came out with our product of um, super cream, it was amazing because we made sure that the percentage is exactly what should be in it based off the clinical studies. And it usually, nobody else on the market had that type of concentration, that type of product 
ingredient, that percentage in the product without it being astronomical. And it wasn't in the States. And so I was so excited because we were able to, Marty was able to really that. get that. It was a really I big deal for that. me because it was a, a game changer for me. And since that time, because when you come off the TA prescription, of course, and I'll say TA, so I don't have to say it wrong, but the TA prescription, you know, the interesting thing about it was, is that pill was so potent that if you came off of it within eight weeks, you would see those spots to come back. And I started to panic. And now with the super cream, I was able to get the spots back off and keep them off by just being regular with my and consistent with my skincare routine. And then of course the new product is coming out. I think, when is that coming out, Kim? End of the month. End of the, is, it, is it the 28th? It's available for Sorry, people. I was responding to somebody. And and it's the 28th, the new product is coming out. Yes, the end of the month on the 30th, actually, it will be in house. Yeah, just a couple more days. Sorry. It's available for pre order now. And I think with Dr. Mm -hmm. D, the fact that it penetrates seven layers. I didn't know that. Um, that's what makes it so special. And that's the type of work that we're doing with our product, with our skincare, because that's why we decided we wanted to do a 28 day challenge, because I know the difference in what you'll see if you use something consistently versus using it just every other three or four days or every other week. The difference, you can look at Trista Polo, you can see the difference. You can look at Kitty and see the difference. You can see all these great girls who've been doing it, Roseanne and everybody who've been doing such a phenomenal job. Shondell, all of you girls have been doing it nightly. And the difference is the consistency is key. And it's like anything. It's like Dr. Deidre always says to me, Lauren, if you want to lose the weight, you got to do something every day. And I get it. That's why I'm so excited about what we'll talk about at the end. But um, I think it's all about the consistency and the fact that we have great doctors on our team that actually make sure with me that, and Marty does too, and, and Kim, that we put the very best, not just ingredients, but the actual level of performance of that ingredient, that percentage is so key that really we effective. sometimes don't talk about enough. Good point. Can I say something quick about the super cream? Sure. Melody. So I took, I'm an esthetician. I took a pretty intensive chemical peel class that I had to travel for. And in Wisconsin, you have to be trained by the owner in order to provide this intensive chemical peel service. So during the class, the owner of this company said, you know, there's something that you can use and I can't think of the ingredients, but it's pretty strong and really hard to get. And it's only prescription. I said, is it transenzymic acid? She's like, that's it. How would you know? I said, well, the product line that I carry has that 2% in a product called super cream. She's like, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. I need to get my hands on that. I'm like, we'll talk after class. Awesome. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. That, like we, she has, you know, 40 years experience in the aestheticians world and we have something that she wants. And and I it's great. And I think like Dr. Dr. Deidre said before, and Vina said before, it's not something that it's just for the face. Like you will see dark spots on your hands. You will see dark spots on your chest. You know, the places, and it's funny, I saw Melanie, I think said, you know, her, her dark spots come on the other side because her husband's always driving. Folks, the UV light comes through windows. It comes through places that, um, and it's not just, of course, the sun and those UV lights that can give you those dark spots. It could be genetic, it could be hereditary, it could be based on your hormone imbalance. And uh, it's, right, right, Dr. Deidre, it's not just the sun. Right. And I think it's important on the hands because people are getting the nails done all the time with the gel and they're starting to see the dark spots show up. It's like, me a tanning bed almost the blue light rays so it's important you know your hands show your age first <laughs> they do your hands and your neck yeah no i the, the super cream is amazing and can be used again we should always use serums first and then followed by the treatment creams so you could use your treat you could use this treatment cream morning and night it would not be too much and again followed by your serum so that's really important and and um, I don't know if we want to talk about our rollers next or because yeah. we are going to be before we do the rollers, so I'm just going to give you guys a teaser for those of you. And it's amazing how consistent everybody is staying on. But um, my team and I um, know because I am such a skincare fanatic and I do care so much about fighting gravity. And I do believe 
that uh, with our products, we can live longer and be healthier uh, much longer and you know take care of our skin. So one of the big products that I've been dying to come out with as everybody knows, because there's only one product I use at night when I do skincare that um, we don't have. And I have been complaining to our team, like, why can't we get this? And Kimmy really pulled through for Dr. Deidre and I, we were so excited. We really pushed the team to get this done, but I micro needle. Um, and that may sound scary to you, but I wanna show you micro needling is not scary. This is um, a 0 0.30, I believe I can. 0 .3. It's 0 0.30 of a needle. And so you can put this on, but here's the cool thing about our roller that's gonna be coming out in about two months, okay? We're, you're the first people to hear because we just finished the deal, okay? No but, more Zoom neck. Okay, no more Zoom neck. And Dr. Deidre knows how, how much micro needling, needling really helps. But let me tell you, why, did, why is it important? People say, well, that's needles. Why would I want to do that? These are micro needles. You can barely feel it. As Andrew would tell you, I did it to him before and it, it actually is very relaxing. It's very de-stressful. It actually feels really good. These are not sharp needles. These are you know things that you can put on your hand. You clean this with alcohol. And what it does is it really improves the skin tone. It helps break down old scars and smooth out the skin. It's really great for acne and it's really great for product absorption to make a product work better to get deeper into the layers of the skin. So our, I'm so proud of Kimmy because they really came through for me, but there's a, a product on the market called Glow Pro, which has a red a light therapy on it. But Kim is able to work it out where we're going to have four light therapies. So you'll be able to see mm. here, one, two, three, and four. So you'll have four light therapies that you can choose from and you'll be able to, you should always micro needle before you put product on because you can get the product into the face really good. So I have a couple of scars because I'm known for self-operation a lot, like many of you probably are, which is a really a no-no, but I have a scar here and a scar here from self-operation. So I really work those really well and your face will get doesn't bleed so you don't have to panic everybody always associates that with something that's really professional if you go to a dermatologist but you can micro needle by yourself and i'm putting barely any pressure but you can see it's getting red a little bit so let me show you what happens when you micro needle before you put a product on your face okay so i don't need a tissue i'm not bleeding a little bit no, I'm just a little okay. red. It's okay. okay. That's okay. just a little, that's good. That's my own out. blood. Anyway. People are excited. Okay. So if I don't micro needle, which I didn't micro needle this side, right? And I put that same little dot of cream, of super cream, right? On my face. And then if I micro needled here and I put the same dot, hold on. Because I don't have a mirror in front of me, but if I had the same dot, that's about equal, right? Yes. Okay, so if I put the same dot, when I start to rub the cream, look how much faster the, the micro needling side takes the product where I'm still rubbing in the product here on the unneedled side. So I still have to work it where this one, I can actually add more product if I wanted to because it's already in the skin. I've already penetrated the layers of the skin where with this one, I have to work it out and wipe some of it off. Where this one, it's already in. And that's the difference. So you will see a dramatic difference in your skin texture. You will see a dramatic difference in fine lines and wrinkles. You will see a dramatic difference in the absorption of the product, which will ultimately give you better results. And we're gonna wow. have ours in just a couple of months and it's gonna be much lower price than anything on the market. Right, Dr. Wow. Deidre, we're so it excited about price, but it. It's going to be superior because, you know, one of the things that you had mentioned that Kimmy was able to do is to get one that has four different lights. And that's really going to create a space for conversation because everybody knows that the red light, I don't know if everyone knows, but the red lights are there to help with the aging, the fine lines, the depth of the line, but having a, a blue light or a green light, right? Or a yellow light, these are all really impactful. You know, green lights are for you know, that, that hydration, the redness that you just naturally have. Um, while blue and yellow lights play a role, blue lights actually play a role in acne, that very oily skin, that combination skin, and really changing things because their light spectrum is different. And then there's lights that help, like yellow lights to help with lymphatic drainage. 
right? So maybe you're, maybe you've got a puffy skin type. You've got a client with a, a, a puffy skin type or a combination skin type. You're going to be able to choose different lights that do something um, about that. And something else that you had mentioned that I, again, I want to, I want to talk about is that for areas that have been an, an issue for a very long time, like scars, right? What we're going to do is break up those adhesions. We're going to apply this counter irritant with these micro needles. Again, just 0.3 millimeters. It's nothing, right? But it is enough for the skin to go, are you kidding me right now? And then reheal itself. You know, this is a very common joint therapy where needles, pro prolotherapy, agitation is added to a joint so that the joint ends up restructuring itself. And that's really what we're talking about is stimulating the body to go, okay, bring in the forces. We're going to like pull up the buttresses. We're going to get that connective tissue kind of working again. So this is this counter irritant therapy that's wildly, wildly successful um, in dermatology practices and now is available to us. It's going to be great. And, you know, I just noticed I was actually using the 1.0 because I gave Amber the three, uh, the 0 0.3, which is much less of a needle. Mine is much more, yeah. but I'm used to micro needling a lot. So for me, 1.0 is nothing, but 0.3 does the same exact trick. If you look anywhere and you look at the clinical studies, 0.3 is the magic number. And that's what we'll be coming out with, which will be much less than what I did. So I'm a little red, but totally goes away within 20 minutes. And I will tell you another little thing and I'm sure that Dr. Deidre and I will talk about this in March. Um, the new micro needling, if you look at competitors like GlowPro, now they're saying that clinical studies have shown that 0.3 of a micro needling done on the scalp causes hair growth. And that's all over their website. And so it's something I'm gonna work with Dr. Deidre on to see how we can take advantage of that to really help men, especially Don's right there, but <laughs> but help men especially because it really does right. generate hair growth just the same way it'll break down that scar, like she said, and rebuild it, the skin. I am so excited about that. I don't know about you guys, but as an esthetician, I am beyond myself excited that I can actually empower my clients to be able to continue that work at home with our, our products and that. But I'll tell you, the other thing too, when you're microneedling, you're actually stimulating the fibroblast cells, which still stimulates the collagen. So we're gonna look at connective tissues. We're gonna look at firming and toning because you know, as I've always said, you age two ways, either with wrinkles or lack of elasticity. And unfortunately, I understand that. I don't have the biceps that Dr. D has, but I do understand when I sit like that, I feel like I look better. So I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to get that microneedling. That's gonna be so much fun. No and question. question. And, and Aaron, Andrew was gonna say something because somebody asked a question, right? Will it hurt? Or, it says amazing, Lauren, but will it hurt a lot or less than a pinch? So pain? it's much less than a pinch. Yeah. And, um, and Andrew, you did it before. Yeah, you did, yeah, you did and it. You did how it. did you, how did you it think did, it felt? Well, it, it's, and it's, actually, it's actually kind of it's kind refreshing. Of, refreshing. It's kind of it's refreshing. Not, it's nice. it's not, actually it's so light. Yeah. And it's really just like, it really just feels great. So for me, I like it. And I feel like it always lifts one side of my face for some reason. I always feel like after I do it, look how much more lifted that looks than this side. So I just, I don't know, I'm a big believer in it and I want you guys to be able to have it. And other people are selling it for like $150 to $250 on the marketplace. And I think Kim's goal is to have it in at around 60 bucks. Yeah, maybe less. Yeah, maybe I could talk to Marty. Marty. Yeah, so, and I know Marty wants that too. But the fact that, like Deidre said, I think it's so important. Remember, we'll be the only one that I know of on the market in the States that has the four lights, which is so incredible to have light therapy built in. Lauren, everyone's asking how often do you use it? I said two to three times. Okay, so no, I, I pretty much, I'm different than most. I'm pretty aggressive. I, I use it nightly. And by the way, I don't use it for more than 60, 30 to 60 seconds. I work the areas that I need it really well. I have this scar on my forehead. I have this one scar here where I operated on a cyst. I used to get cysts when I was little, but not a lot of acne. And I work those areas well. But I mean, Jackie, you can tell them it's been a tremendous difference in my skin texture. Would you agree? Absolutely. No, yeah. When I when I first started working with Lauren eight years ago, I remember feeling like, okay, I need to I need to search for products that are gonna really make her skin look one tone and make sure that everything looks even. And I don't know. I, I mean, how long has it been? Because I remember I saw you and I was like, oh my God, Lauren, your skin looks incredible. And I and, just yeah. 
about it, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's really amazing. I really, I'm so excited for this because it, it does make a huge difference for those exactly. who have that hyperpigmentation. Add 30 seconds to your skincare routine exactly. and see a huge difference. And then I'm going to work with Dr. Deidre on what it does for hair growth so we can see what we can say about that. Mm. That's and amazing. Lauren, the question that came in, Lauren, um, which I'm curious to hear the answer is how old or how young should you you know, start using a tool like this, like microneedles. I mean, I agree. Dr. Deidre said it earlier, actually, or Vina. Um, the younger, um, you know, sometimes young people don't think they need to do uh, certain things to their skin. I, I've always been a big believer in taking care of your skin. It will pay off in benefits and rewards that will last a lifetime. And uh, I was talking to a doctor on the phone the other day. He said, it's, it's very amazing to see somebody who's so committed to their skin like I am. It's hard to do. I get it. It takes an extra 20 or 30 minutes at night when you could get in the bed. For some of you could take an extra 10 minutes. I just take more time because I do my teeth. I might operate if I see something or a hair. Like I hate those hairs that we get as we get older. So I'm always paying attention to that. But I take that extra time for self-care. And I think that in your 20s, you have to start paying attention to what happens because before you know it, you wake up in your 30. So, um, you know, the damage happens much younger, I think. Right, Dr. Deidre? It doesn't happen when you hit 40. Right. No, not, not, not anymore. And I think, I think this is an opening and, and I don't mean an opening with you guys. I mean, it's, it's again, thinking about widening the value that we have to offer to individuals. We are dealing with in our environment, a freakish amount of free radicals, of pollution, of junk that is, is leading to premature aging. You know, these new to nature molecules have found our, their way into our food and our water. And as such, you know, we're seeing estrogen um, issues, hormone uh, issues, uh, oxidative stress, poor detoxification, like carrying fat in weird places. And this has everything to do with our environment. So it's, it's absolutely critical that we start talking to people about, um, you know, it is no small thing for you to take 10 minutes for yourself to do something like this. That, that is self-love, that is self-care. That's not just skincare, right? That's self-care and that is no small thing. The supplements, the the skincare regimens, these are all ways that we combat an everly an ever growing toxic world. Yeah, that's well said. Well said. Anyway, I'm excited about it. And by the way, for those of you who struggle with big pores, it's really great for tightening pores on the skin. No, I I love that. So um, I guess we're going to go on and start talking about um, our rollers, as well as the next thing we're all going to do um, is pull out our mask, right? So I'll talk a little bit about the roller once we put out our mask. But the mask I chose was the Lumi de V uh, mask. That it is so moisture intense. It has the aloe juice, which aloe juice is rich in enzymes and amino acids, so it's very hydrating. I mean, if you look at an aloe plant and you break it apart, you see all that richness, that, that hydration, that succulence, and that's what we want. Like Dr. D had said earlier, it's not superficial. It's something that we wanna do to work in the layers of our skin. And also it has the hyaluronic acid. And you know, right now hyaluronic acid is really big in the news. And part of that is again, let's talk about the barrier of the skin. With the barrier of the skin, um, we are really depleting our barrier when we do wear our mask because um, our warm, moist air of our breath and the acidity is getting trapped under the mask. So what we really want to do is we want to work with um, we want to work with getting our skin protected, the, especially the barrier. We want to get the barrier protected. So that's incredibly, incredibly important. So everyone, want, you can see that, you can see how it's, um, you can see how it's very uh, formed to the face. And I don't know, Dr. D, did you want to say anything about this mask? Yeah. There it is. I want to okay. share with them a tip that you taught me, which is about the nose that folds up. That's how you know which which side goes against your face is the side where the nose folds up. That's the outside. And that's how you know how to put them on. Because everybody goes, wait a minute, what do I do? Which side has the therapy on it? You know? uh, yeah, the side of the nose. And the other thing I want to share with you, a little tip, is that 
it's in this wonderful cellophane. And so take that cellophane yep. and you can either put it on your hands or- yeah, I was um, gonna say, is this weird? <laughs> you know, or your decollete, your neck. I mean, I don't believe in wasting product. I don't care who you are. You do not want to waste something that has this much richness and with the enzymes. And again, a fun fact about hyaluronic acid, you know, it holds 1,000 times its weight in water. So again, we're really wanting to work on um, the barrier thieves. And one of the barrier thieves is the dehydration. So when we talk about dehydration, I'm talking about the lack of water, not oil. So the lip is in our skin, especially with what's going on, whether it's stress or whether it's, um, you know, wearing the mask or whether it's humid weather, whichever it is. Oh, you guys all look amazing. I actually okay. I should have had two here, but I had one, so I put it on Andrew. But like you said, I took sure. all the product and I put it on. Does it really, how does it feel for you? Because no, that's your first it's, it's time cool. using it's this, right? It's cool and it feels great. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's your first time I'm going to add it to my regimen. Yeah. Are you supposed to roll as well? Like this is. Like, you can roll. roll. Like, I roll rolling. anyway, but I'll roll while you have the mask on. Okay. I can tell you, I've never. This is a first for me. Not only have I not appeared with new makeup on, I'm literally putting a mask on. So I, this has been amazing for me. Trust me. Okay. So the mask goes on. So you want to make sure it goes to the hairline. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once you get it to the hairline to the side, you want to pull a little tight. Because you want to make sure that it's underneath the eyes mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you're pulling underneath the chin. Yep. Okay. Really important. And if there's any excess, rub that down. Yep. Now, let's talk a little bit about the roller. Now, I, Lauren, I am so excited about the other roller. I've already started a protocol on what products and what treatments we're going to do with those, uh, that new uh, roller. I, I can't wait. So yeah. there's a couple different ways you can use this roller. First of all, I want to tell you, when you first use it, let's talk about some lymphatic drainage, right? So let the roller just literally roll across for the drainage. Because here's the thing. If you roll too hard, what will happen is that it misses the drainage. Your lymphatic drainage sits right underneath your skin. So if you are, have puffiness going on, you want to make sure that you roll out so that it will actually, and this is another thing too, when you roll out, you can actually roll down, right? And you're going to start feeling like you maybe need to swallow because what's happening is that lymphatic drainage is starting to drain. So you really want to do that. Now, once you get that done, once you get that lymphatic drainage done, again, really important to roll out, not down, but just out, right? even on the forehead, the next thing you want to do is you want to start working under, under the eyes, like the dark circles, right? So you take the smaller tip of your roller, whether it's the quartz roller or the rose quartz, right? The tiger eye, I'm sorry. You want to go underneath the eyes and you want to roll out. Now that's for puffiness. So we're going to roll out for puffiness on both sides. Now, it also, this also works with pore size. It works with healing. It works with drainage. But the other thing, it works with blood flow. So once you've drained, if you want to start working with that blood flow, you can actually give it a little bit of strength there and start working with a little bit of blood flow, right? So that, that would feel great. Now, yeah. if you suffer from headaches, I don't know if anyone suffers from headaches. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, Lisa, I can't even believe this here. Okay, so if you suffer from headaches, um, you can actually work to down the side of where your ear is and work down, right, to where your shoulders are. And that literally will relax. That's a relaxation roll, and that will help with headaches, right? Because your blood gets trapped here. I don't know about you guys. I have a little stress going on right now lately. So my shoulders go from down here to up here. So you can roll like this. And also, and I know Dr. D mentioned this, it, it's great for going to sleep by, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can take the smaller one, go in between and just roll for relaxation. So this rose quartz, I do not sell the mask without the roller. Those two work beautifully together. And it's so amazing. Yeah. 
Do you like when I roll you? My husband loves when I'm being rolled. Sarah said he loves he being loves rolled. Being rolled. Um, he loves being rolled. He's been making me roll him at you night. You take so long at night to do your I did yours routine. first. You put it on video that you don't get to me. Yeah, oh. I did you I did you first the other night. Oh, he, feels yeah. a little, yeah. he feels left out. He, he said by the time you're out. done, you're too tired to do me. But that's I mean not <laughs> that sounded crazy. <laughs> but um but no, what I'm saying is is that I, I've been rolling him at night now because he's like, Can you just bring it over? It really does make a big difference. It really does help you sleep. And relax and it just feels good and by the way swollen puffy eyes go away this is like bye bye now how often for this for, well for the mask that's a good question or? what do you say vina how how many times would you recommend somebody use the mask so this mask is so intensive that you could listen as a product worker i use it every week but honestly i recommend my clients because there comes two in a mask one every two weeks I mean, you can be decadent and do it every week. It's not going to hurt you at all. Matter of fact, especially right now with the way my skin has been so sensitive, this has been like a big drink of water. So again, it helps wow. the lipids in your skin hang on to the hydration so you're not getting dehydrated during the day. So it's, what would you say, Dr. D? Yeah, I mean, that's what um, I, we had mentioned. Like if you're going to mask, make sure that you're doing it no less than twice a month. Right, because you want it, you want to get its benefit. You know, people, people will say that certain treatments like this. And I, I'm glad you used the word being a decadent. Um, you know, people think of things like this as being very decadent, and and so they're they're looking to see the results, and they're maybe more importantly looking for those results to last. Last, and that means you need to use it frequently enough for it to be effective. And so, a minimum of those two two times a month. Look at Melanie. Yeah. She yeah. looks so cute. Melanie looks so cute yeah. with her mask on. <laughs> Um, I, I, I just think it's, you know, rolling though. I roll every day, every morning, every night. People are saying, how often do you roll? I roll every single morning. Why do I roll every morning? Because even though I feel like I work really hard at my skin, no matter what, I have severe allergies. I wake up congested, as you know, I have allergy attacks a lot. And when I do, I generally wake up with um, my eyes being pretty swollen. So the first thing I do is I go in and I roll my eyes. And then the last thing I do every night, of course, is roll my face. Why? Because I think it keeps it all up. I just do. And I love it. Yeah, it's great for muscle memory as well. So, and the blood flow, and especially for those people that tend to have extra uh, red skin and very, very sensitive, it actually calms that down. And so the aloe is very nurturing for the mask. The aloe is very nurturing for the skin, but it also calms, the rolling actually calms your skin down as well. Now you can roll a little more vigorously and that's going to get the blood flowing, which is not bad for you at all. At, during the day, like first thing in the morning, I'll do more of a vigorous, but then in the evening time, I'm a lot more kind of, you know, just relaxation and lymphatic drainage and, you know, maybe that wine got to my eyes. So for relaxation. <laughs> we have a lot of people asking a lot of questions about the micro needling. Um, the instrument that we're going to be getting, is it okay to use on the lips? Um, you know, I, I don't want to answer that yet because I want to make sure that that's okay. I, I cannot necessarily say what I do because as you guys know, I'm a little extra over the top. So I roll right on top of my lips, but mm -hmm. some people won't, I mean, with the micro needling, I, sometimes I'll do that. Um, but you know, it just really depends on your preference. It certainly cannot hurt you. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people are asking if you can use it on the neck, if you can use it on your chest. Always, 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 always use it on your neck. Just the always use it on she, your chest. chest. Oh, look at that. No, she just took the, she it's put nice. the extra product on there. Yeah. But I use it all the, everywhere. And one of the things that Kim's working on right now, just so you guys know, is that we may be able to have, um, we're working with finalizing this, is we may be able to have interchangeable heads so we can have a, um, a micro needling for your stomach, or for your legs, oh. it's really good breaking up cellulite, you know, um, uh, fatty areas that are hard to manage. So we're looking to see what kind of interchangeable attachments we can have where we can change it out and you can just add a different attachment. I'm amazed how it feels cool. You know what I'm saying? You, know you what like saying? the feeling. It didn't come out of the refrigerator or anything like nope. that. I'm saying that, but it feels, it continues to feels feel good, cool. doesn't it? Yeah. 
does. You like it. I so do. You may add I that one to add your to routine. Regimen, yeah. Well, that's why I put it on you. I wanted yeah. to see, you know, the idea is yeah. that you introduce a product, right, Shondell, to yep. people and they might like it. Yeah, no question. There you go. Yeah, this is going to be great. Tina, do you want to touch on some of the other masks? Um, because uh, I know Melanie has the volcanic mask, which is more of the detoxifying exfoliant. Um, and so people would want to use that a different amount of times than this sheet mask, right? Um, right, right. Have the facial firming mask. Is that what you, I don't know what Chandel has on, maybe the facial firming mask. Yeah, so I have on the firming one, so that's why I can't really move my mouth. Yeah, mask. so like if we all <laughs> laugh, it'll all start to crackle up. <laughs> it is starting to crack all over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just blew up your spot. <laughs> well, JR uses that every day in the shower. That I mean, firming mask is amazing. It yeah, is. JR uses the, the volcanic mask. Oh, the the volcanic, yeah. I, I see him putting it everywhere, like, and some people use it everywhere, like he does. So... It's whatever you want to do, but it's really a great mask. That volcanic mask because of the enzyme. He asked me if I was spying on him. I said, I'm not spying on you, but every time I pass your bathroom, I see it all over the entire shower. Like you've used a whole bottle every time. And I just <laughs> wonder how you're using it. So I just inquire. He asked me if I'm spying. I put it on neck. And he puts it on his neck a lot. No, I wouldn't normally put, like, I would normally put a volcanic after I did all the skin treatment, right? And I would do it actually before, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I normally do it. But I wanted to put a mask on. So. No, we look, you look hot. I think, I think it's all about, um, you know, how good you look. You look great doing it. Mm -hmm. I think Dr. D takes the cake on the sheet mask, though. <laughs> Every time I look at her, I about die laughing. She has a great <laughs> face. You guys have a really tiny face, mm -hmm. I do. I've got the mask. It's a really great bone structure. I mean, you can see it. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's her small little face. Right. So the mask is like all crinkly. Wait, wait, what, what am I going to do? I've got to like fold here and I'm going to need a sewing kit over here. Yeah. No, your scaffolding is gorgeous. It looks great. <laughs> oh. You know, Melanie, if you, after you, you let the mask dry, if you go in in a steam shower and just let that steam work with the enzymes of that mask, the difference is amazing with it. So you can use it so many different ways. You can actually use it under steam. As an esthetician, that's what I do is I'll put that on and then you can steam and that just really activates those enzymes in there. So that's something you can do in the shower as well. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's really, that's really important. Jer said, did you hear that? That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't he, he said he puts the steam turned up and he does it. I need, I need that expand on the opera mask. He wants, he wants, yeah, you know, oh, I put it on you did, tonight, yeah, honey. Yeah, he said, can nice you put that mask on me and tonight? Yes. Roll as well on top of that. Yeah. yeah That'd be great. Thanks, honey. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. Just, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, is it time to take it off? <laughs> Are we... Are we doing the time? Look, at, look at Lee, how hot she looks. So how long do we keep that? How long is it normally a good well, yeah, like time to take just off? Just so you know, long enough and nobody's hung up from Zoom or Facebook. They're all still on. No, so know. they're not minding so, it. We promote like 15 to 20 minutes. 10 to 25 minutes on the thing. I don't think you can leave it on too long. Sometimes in bed, I'll just like leave it on because I'm relaxed. Get all of it. You can get out of it, Andrew. I think make sure you take any of that extra, again, product. And look what Lee's doing. She's wrapping it around her neck. It's and such a great idea. I've never thought of doing it that way, Lee. I Thanks. was almost dry because all the product absorbed into my face already because my skin is so dry right now. Yeah, it's it, it looks so great. But it's it's such on too long. It'll start to have the reverse effect where the hydration will go back into the mask. So when you, that's why I took mine off. Mine dried out really fast because obviously I needed extra hydration. So when I started to feel it was kind of coming off, I took it off and I rubbed the rest on my neck and on my hands and on my decollete. So if you leave it on too long, don't want to do that. So you want to be, you know, mindful of that too. Yeah, that's true. That look, and your skin is glowing. Everybody's glowing. Everybody's glowing. Everybody's look at everybody's face. Like we should have taken, I took before and after photos of all of you guys. So Melanie sent me a couple of great shots. I'm going to make well. sure that we post those. Thank you, Melanie, because that's going to be great just to see how fresh your skin looks. Yeah, this is fantastic. You know what I mean? I think, Kimmy, there's one ounce of product in that sheet, 
right? That's there is. There's a lot of product, which is kind of a big deal. I mean, a, that's what people buy in a bottle. By the way, it's a major deal. It's, it's one of the reasons why it is such a special product. And uh, at first I was like, we're giving out so much product, but wow. it's so amazing, you know? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to to um, roll your the, the decollete area as well, especially if you put any of that product on there. You definitely want to make sure that you get that blood flowing there and you really start rolling that decollete. And you want to roll up with this. Up on the decollete. Baby, I, I got up it. Up on the decollete. All right. I roll day and night. <laughs> I roll if I'm on the phone. Girls know that who talk to me a lot. I'll be I've been doing it now at the office. I had to bring mine home. Roll that extra chin. I roll all that stuff. Lauren, I roll it in the middle of watching a webinar, Zoom, anytime. <laughs> it's brilliant. It really does make a huge difference. And on an airplane, I highly recommend always sticking this in your bag. I was going to say with the firming mask is I always recommend heating up the towel. It's kind of like what I just did. Ooh. So like when you have your own spa night going on, Ooh. I warm up, uh, I'll wet it and then I pop it in the microwave for a little bit in a plastic bag and then just let it sit and kind of pat it and massage it and, and wipe oh, it off. Oh my God. Shondell, nice. Shondell, please don't give Jared any more <laughs> ideas of anything I'm going to do tonight. He's like, he's writing these things down across the table from us and he's like, I want to do that. That's great. Everybody looks so good. It feels so good though. It's so relaxing. It does. I love yeah. that. I love that feeling. You know, when you, it just, everybody looks super phenomenal. Um, a good question. And do people um, rinse off this serum or should we let it soak in? What's the next step after doing a mask like the face mask? Right. So our next step will be our moisturizer. So you choose the moisturizer of your choice. Yeah. And that's when you'll put the moisturizer over the top. Now, everyone knows that I, my favorite is the intense rejuvenation cream because it has bakukul in it, right? So that's working with the collagen, the firming, the toning of the skin. But you choose whatever moisturizer that you feel is best for your skin at the time. And so you're going to, you're going to literally just now this moisturizer is going to seal and that's what moisturizer is supposed to do is it's going to seal in everything you've just done. Yeah. And don't forget your mouth, ladies, your, your lips, Dr. Deja, right? Our lips yeah. age. So, they do. I mean, they really do. This is one of the first places that we start to see volume loss um, with age. You know, and there's there's all kinds of different things that that women do, whether it's using straws so they don't mess up their lipstick. Um, obviously smokers, that's why they call them smoker lines. But loss of estrogen is another reason why we start to see lines here. Um, I, I don't know if the rest of you, and it might just be because masks fit me the way they do, but my lips are positively tingling now because of the mask. Yeah. So I know that I'm getting something out of this. And that's those are the kinds of things I, I, you know, I try to like remind people about. It's like feeling it work, right? Because that's how we build value. I just think it's so important. I just feel like, you know, sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to get in bed and, and hang out with my husband and watch a movie or something, if I forget my lips, I notice it right away the next day. And, you know, it, our lips get dry. They crack. Um, and it's really important to keep the moisture because, you know, it, naturally as we age, the, 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 the length of our skin lengthens, right? <laughs> Between our nose and our lips. So you want to keep it really plump and moist so you can keep your lips up. I always am, you know, rolling, squeezing, trying to keep them going. Lymphatic massage all the time to keep them young because that is a place that you will see the signs of aging. Yeah, it's so important to make sure whatever you do for your face, you should be doing for your lips. Absolutely. And that includes exfoliating your lips. Make sure when you're exfoliating, exfoliate your lips as well, because we have we have beautiful makeup and lipsticks and lip glosses and everything. And you want to make sure those lips look great. So you don't want to put them on chapped lips. So you don't want to put them on lips. Like Dr. Deidre says, that's one of the first places as we age 
that's where when we get dehydrated, you know, that's the first place our body takes from is our lips. As we get older, our lips. So that's why you see women as they, and men, as they get older, they get thinner lips because they're losing their collagen in those areas. Yeah, it's the first thing. Our ears grow, our nose continues to grow, but our lips get thinner. <laughs> so we have to take care of our lips and it kind of stinks that that happens to us, especially when we work so hard, but don't forget the neck. Don't forget the mouth. Don't forget your chest because it's so important. That's where I feel like, you know, we have a tendency to overlook. Okay, we just hurry up and do it. It's like foundation. You can't just put it on your face. You got to put it down and rub it down into your neck. Everything is so important. You know, it all connects. Doesn't your skin look good? Amazing. Really? No, it really does. Melanie, you are a ninja. How did you get your mask off? All of a sudden, I looked down. I was like, "Blue eyes." You, you didn't see me leave. There was like nobody for a little bit. <laughs> oh, we I, was, I was looking at everyone else. I was watching. You got it out fast. I did. I, I I went and scrub. I did a little uh, scrub motion upwards. Right, that's the way to do it. Is when you take it off, just warm water and a little scrub motion upwards. Well done. Yeah, I feel great. Had you guys have any thoughts or questions? Anything else, Vina? You want to hit on real quick? Thank you for inviting me tonight. I had so much fun. This is what I love doing. So thank you. So can I just add one more thing? I know it may, may be out of step, but I am a, I, I've told you guys this on um, Facebook Live a lot. I'm a big believer in the rose, um, you know, freshener of the mist. Why? Because it's an anti-inflammatory. So I like how it makes me feel. I like also that it helps shrink pores. And I like to put it on after I put on all my skincare, just so I feel really fresh and it helps me smell really good when I get in bed with my husband without having to put anything on. You're not my husband, but I'll put some on you. But, uh, <laughs> but you like how it feels, yeah, right? It it's very refreshing. And I just think it's one of those products that you should always keep in your purse. Mm -hmm. Lauren, that's one of the things that I have been telling everybody that wears masks is that carry that with you. And then during the day, when you get a chance to pull that mask down, especially people that have to wear it all day long, I have a lot of my health professionals that are carrying that in their pockets. And then they pull that down, they spray their face because it literally just wakes up their skin and it feeds their skin. It's really a 911 for your skin. So I love it. Deidre, <laughs> when you come to my office, I'm gonna start spraying you <laughs> the rose water in between your mask. <laughs> phenomenal it really does have incredible benefits and you really do feel the difference and it really holds moisture really well but it's a great like when you're going all day and all the environment the environment outside is so tough on our skin it really does make a difference if you're in a plane and you're dehydrated and if you fly a lot like me as soon as I get on the plane I go as you know, I spray in everybody around me and they're like, what are you spraying on me? I'm like, it won't hurt. As soon as you spray them once, they want you to keep spraying. You know, it's re you really feel a great benefit and it smells just divine. Lauren, I'll just add um, that for this last 14 days of my 28 days, Lauren, that I've not, in the past, I, I actually used the neck cream, but now, uh, not much, but now I've been using it every day every night and it's made a difference as well. Well, Kitty, you have been remarkable and I know that you have been doing the 28 day challenge religiously. And I know that you've had a lot of great new customers, right? I have, which is amazing. Like it's, right now I'm doing the TLS uh, Spring Slim Down over here in Australia. And those people that see my post have asked me. So I've got double whammy, you know, like TLS client. Well done. That's amazing. <laughs> and Lumia TV new clients from TLS, so cross sell to them, which is amazing. I Good think job. it's amazing. And That's I think right. she told me the other day that she is not only getting just new customers who are seeing her face before and after, but she's getting other customers who have come back. Right. And I think that's really important. You may not be speaking to customers about what one of our products um, has can do for your face, but having Vina and Dr. Deidre here tonight was such a huge 
um, benefit for all of us. Because how many times can you have your customers or yourself listen to somebody? Like try to get access to a doctor right now during COVID. It's next to impossible. The fact that we have Deidre on with us, the fact that we have Nina on with us sharing all of this advice and how much you can benefit. But it, I really highly recommend that you study some of Kitty's page. I really love looking at her page because she really does spend, uh, I showed it to Andrew yeah. earlier. She spends an incredible amount of time explaining the process, showing some videos, showing the before and after. And I think it's really inspiring. I've seen a huge difference in Trista Polo. Uh, I think you're still on with us, right? Thank Trista, the, the color, Andrew and I were looking at your photos before the, the Zoom tonight. And honestly, the difference in your color, your Very tone apparent. is dramatic. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a little red now because I did the volcanic. <laughs> you look great, right. but have you been personally seeing the results? Because sometimes we don't see what other people can <laughs> see. And it's interesting because we're a little hard on ourselves. That's why the before and after photos are so important. But tell me what you've been experiencing. Well, I don't see a huge difference, except when I use the roller, I can really see like my eyebrows are lifted and the puffiness goes down, but I'm getting so many people telling me they see a huge difference. And that's the validation, right? Cause I don't, it looks the same to me, except there's this little line that's going away. <laughs> that's that line I told you, I asked my doctor about, cause I said, I haven't had Botox in so long because you can't go to the doctors. Why do I have these? I told Dr. Deidre I have these two like lines right here, like two L's at the top of my forehead. And he's like, keep rolling them out. They will go away. And he's right. And they have. Um, but, you know, Trista, just so you know, there's a huge difference. If you look at your before and after the color of your skin, it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to get really good, even skin color, right? We're always, I mean, I, I don't wear makeup a lot during the day, but um, I'm always conscious of, you know, one side of my face has, you know, not as even as the other side of my face. I think we all experience that. I can see huge difference. Your clarity, the clearness of it, everything. You look phenomenal. Thank you so much. I love this challenge because I'm not one to really talk about skincare. So to be able to really during COVID, I'm not going out as much. So I skip the routine because I'm not running out. So this has really gotten me to stop and do the routine, the regimen every day, morning and night. And I'm so glad that I have it to plug into. So thank you for it. And I'm so glad it's making a difference. And are you, are you getting people asking you like, what are you doing? Where can I get it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, so that's kind of an extra benefit guys. The idea is if you share those photos, like Andrew really got to sit here with me 30 minutes before the call we were going through photos and he was, really amazed and he's like wow the difference is remarkable i wonder if people can see it because unless you look at the photo sometimes people don't see the difference on themselves right Deidre? they really struggle with that this is ina copeland and i really appreciate this i'm 76 years old and i don't usually do any well, i haven't done any type of skin care but people are saying oh you're looking younger and i'm thinking oh well this is a blessing so thank you. Well, you have done a great job, Nina, and I have she loved watching you. And he saw. was, Andrew said, she is one, one of them yeah. that we just watched earlier. I just think like, first of all, we're never too young to start. And I think it's great that you're starting. And I think it's great that you're doing it. And I can see huge results. And I love that you share, you follow what the 28 day challenge is about. And by the way, you're brighter, you're glowier, everything looks just so much fresher. I mean, Lisa Martin, I don't know if you see it in the camera, but you're glowing right now. Like, it's really amazing, guys. So, yeah. Ina, tell me about what you've been experiencing, because I know it wasn't something you were doing before, right? Right. No, I, I never done it before. And uh, what I'm experiencing is people are saying, oh, my goodness, your skin looks beautiful. And um, that in itself, and I'm, I don't have a lot of wrinkles, but what I do have, they're gone. So that's that's absolutely a blessing. And this makes me just feel younger. In fact, it's got me so I'm exercising so I can catch up with my face. <laughs> that's, that's, that's amazing. I love that. Jessica, did you want to say something? I know you've been doing great with the challenge also. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to say, like, I know you guys were saying, like, you know, young people don't always, like, take care of their skin. And I've, like, I was, I used to be that way where I didn't take care of it. And then, like, now with this challenge, I've kind of, like, taken it to an extreme and, like, gotten, like, more because I was just doing a three-step challenge. But now I'm, like, doing, like, a seven-step seven routine. And it's, like, I can already see, like, the dark spots on my face, like, are already, like, changing. My skin is, like, evening out. And, like, that was, like, one of the things, like, I really always struggled with. So it's just, like, I'm really happy to finally see the results that I've kind of always wanted. I think that's such an inspiration, too, for young people, Jessica, because you are beautiful. You have beautiful skin. But, you know, I used to tease my mom all the time be like why do I have to do all this stuff at night why do I have to take such care good care of my skin because my mom is really fanatical about it and I think she was right it's so when your friends start to age and you stay young looking what the work you're doing right now will the rewards pay you much later and I think that's really important it's like you know Dr. Deidre said earlier you can go out in the sun and you may get feel really great and look really great with the tan right now but 20 years from now with those dark spots and the wrinkling, you'll wish you hadn't. Mm -hmm. And it'll pass up to you. So when you're taking care of your skin now, you really reap the benefits much later in life. So when everybody starts to age, and then everybody thinks that you're much younger than everybody when you're much older, you know, it's just uh, really incredible. Yeah, thank you. You look beautiful. Great job, Jessica. Anyone and else? Then, yeah, I, sorry, I just want to add to my story that, you know, I was one of the, bar and soap type of person back then. Um, a lot of people do compliment me on my skin um, because I ain't been pretty blessed with good skin throughout my whole life. Um, and my mom had pretty good skin too. So a lot of people always tell me, oh, you probably don't have to do anything for your skin. But after me, uh, after learning all about, you know, um, our skin products, I always tell them, I said, yes, I have good skin, but that does not mean that I don't do anything to maintain it because I may look like this today, but I may not look like this in five years due to everything that's the air and, um, you know, diet and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like, just like what Jessica said, like, even though we're young, um, we definitely have to do something for our skin. Um, uh, so that, yeah, we can, I mean, you if you can look younger why not so if i can look like this at 50 why not or even better so i'm 50 yeah, um, i'm excited okay Andrew, be quiet i said i'm 51 he goes ooh, you're getting up there uh, jared doesn't like know, hearing that he number, said please you know, i thought you weren't going to ever tell me your age because you have a chronological age and a biological age you have i used to younger. say i used to say used to say when people would ask me how old I was be like it's not polite to ask a woman how old she is but now I'm really proud of my age yeah. and really proud you of how I look I because I've worked really hard and we have great products that really keep your skin great you know the they just you did, hold on Jared said I now tell my age because it makes him money <laughs> <laughs> that's true and I think uh, Bobby you had some great results too right I did, and I want to thank you guys so much for, it's not just the skincare, for the motivating, motivating me to post. That is something I've always lacked, is that motivation just to post, and like Vina said, to put our bare face out there, and even with our cosmetics, I'm just getting more comfortable doing lives and doing posts. And that it, the followers that I'm getting on Instagram, people I don't know. And that's what this is about too, right? They're that getting is. new customers and your skin mm -hmm. looks phenomenal. They want to know what you're using. And I've been watching you. You're doing amazing. Thank you. I think it's, I think you, it's like you said, there's multiple benefits of the challenge. One, we get to see re real results, right? So you may not see it yourself when you look in the mirror every day, but that's why I'm asking you, like Lee has been really good about explaining how to take that photo and mm -hmm. take that same photo at the you know end of each time you take a photo because you really need to see the results. We're our harshest critics. And so we're always beating ourselves down. And uh, I always tell you guys, you got to stop doing that, right? So, you know, my goal is to always bring yourself up. Um, and there's a lot of us on here that you're so beautiful and you don't see the results. Like 
Deidre and Nina and Lisa and Lee and Kim and I, Jackie, everybody, Sabrina. Sabrina and I talk every day about it. It's like, it's pretty remarkable to see the results that we're seeing. And it's really inspiring to see that even though you may have beautiful skin, what a difference. You may have had, you know, troubled skin. What a huge difference. You may have done nothing to your skin before. What a difference. Everybody's seeing great results. And I think the commitment to changing things to making a habit, right? Takes a lot of um, effort. It, it's, it's hard because we honestly don't believe that we're capable of making a habit. We, we actually break our commitments to ourselves, right, Deidre, every time. It's, it's, it's actually sad. It's not like we always say, what's your roadblock? Generally, it's not somebody else, it's you. And so if I could get you, the whole reason behind starting 28 days um, wasn't just, I told you on day one, it wasn't just going to be about skin. It's 28 days to make a new habit. It's 28 days to change your life. It's 28 days to care for yourself, self-care, self-love. And that's what our next week's new introduction is going to be about with the queen, Dr. Deidre herself, which I'm going to let her talk about that for a moment. We're all so excited. Well, I'm, I'm excited because this is something that I have just thrown myself into full uh, throttle. Lauren doesn't know anything about going full bore, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so we are creating a 28 day healthy living challenge. Um, we've created uh, a new space for it, for posting videos and going live, MA Healthy Living on Facebook. And Lauren and I are going to launch this next week, creating a, uh, uh, creating a healthy habit. And, you know, one of the things that we're doing is getting back to that important, um, really healing energy of lifting oneself up. And so one of the very nice things about this challenge is going to be creating wellness within us. And it's going to be creating wellness within our community. And those that are socially connected are um, mentally well. They are spiritually well. They find themselves being um, physically well. Um, I know you talked about it, that just doing this thing um, uh, created a movement towards now fitness and now you're exercising as you joke to get your body and uh, to catch up with your face um so we're definitely creating this and what i want you guys to know is it's it's um the wellness wednesdays where we're really going to talk about creating wellness from within each wednesday night in a very similar fashion to what we're doing here although there's going to be an opportunity to ask questions you know one of the things i've always wanted to do is is um is be a, a a resource to people when they ask questions so i can be like that's not true right here's here's the skinny this is what's actually going on and uh, so we're going to definitely be answering questions um but each night of the 28 day challenge i'll be going live to talk about a health topic hydration the truth behind alcohol um, what I want you guys to know is this is what you want your customers, your organization to log into, because we're going to talk about elevating people and amplifying their health through doing just one thing more today. It may be, you know, just one more glass of water. And that's why we're going to talk about the benefits of hydration. It may be one more push up because at the end of 28 days, you're a badass and you're doing 28 push ups. <laughs> right? It's going to be that type of motivation to get people and your customers to log into something. No one's feeling sold. No one's feeling like they're, they, they're, they're leaving with instruction to get a supplement, but they're leaving with an idea of that was meaningful. I feel like that could do something. And there may be a, a route through supplementation, lifestyle, weight loss, right? You want to moat people, uh, Melanie knows this, People struggle to stay motivated between speaking to their coach. Great, plug into 28 days of healthy living, right? So we're very excited what we're going to do to amplify people's health. I just think that that is such a treat. And I know that they are super excited right. about that. I'll let you say something for a well, second. The, the great thing about our products is that they're- Come into the camera. Is that they're okay. scientific and they really work. I don't want you to move. Okay. <laughs> and so education and knowledge are the key 
to getting customers, being a customers, and it's spreading to other people because everybody wants to do the right thing. It's hard to find the right thing. So this is all about exposing uh, the right thing. And Dr. Deidre is one of the best at it. No yes. question. Um, I mean, it's rare to find somebody that understands so well what people need and scientifically what really works and what is real and what isn't. So you have this resource and you can share it with your customers. And it's not hype. It's not over-representing things. It's simply facts, you know? And if we try it and you get results, that's the proof. <laughs> Yeah. Right. That's the proof. Yeah. So we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. And we're going to launch it next week, right? Right. And I'm really excited about this. I'm going to go on the uh, the Allo program. Yes. Yes. Dr. Yeah. Deidre's Dr. Deidre's on the Allo. Yeah. Dr. Deidre has, has put together, you know, some great things that she'll introduce next week. But I know that one of them was focused on some of us who we know everybody loves the Allo, but we don't take it as consistently as we should. And that's why... Deidre's whole thing about the consistency, being good to your body, being good um, to you is such a really, it's so key and it really does make a difference. And that's why the whole 28 day thing works for everybody. It's amazing. What a great concept. And we all do it together and we don't have to be together and we have lots of fun and we make lots of money. And keep in mind, you can also, you, you keep in mind, you can also get your existing true. customers on, your organization yeah. on, but that's also powerful. potential customers, people who just yes. introduce them to our products is a perfect way to one well, i think new, also yeah. that you know Deidre and i talk almost every other day and if i, I i'm unfortunate that i have access to her but not everybody has access to a physician that they love that they want to talk to that has the warm feel to the warm <laughs> feel good like a lot of those doctors who know stuff you don't really want to talk to them very much but I love talking to Deidre because I, I, as she knows, I'll call her about every little thing, like my my blood work from my colonoscopy, whatever it is. And I think to be able in a time, and it, listen to you, yeah. a time and age where you cannot get access to doctors very much, to physicians, to um, people who have knowledge and information that we need at, at a time where it's critical and we feel a little bit helpless, this helps calm us down. I see this as something that's going to be very good for the soul, not just good for us. You know, whether we can see- I'm really glad that you another, brought that up. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to get all your customers on with Dr. D. And, oh, and I mean, people who are not customers. That's what Definitely. I'm saying. But it's not just any, Dr. D is at the forefront no, of the- That's yeah, why I said, I know, I know. it's not yeah. just good for you, it's good for your soul. And that's how I feel when I get off the phone with her and I feel like that type of energy, Deidre, is, is so needed today. Amen. It is, and that, that's one of the things I'm really glad that you brought up um, is, you know, we're, we're creating um, a, a sense of like, this is also within my control. A lot of people feel like things are out of their control right now. And so yeah. within this 28 days, we're really going to share the, the things that you can do to keep health within your control, to keep the, the, the feelings of concern within your control, uh, to have a space to share wellness with other people. So, um, you know, as, as, I, as I say, through Wellness, well, uh, Wellness Wednesdays, we're gonna be creating wellness from within, right? But you're gonna come up with your, your own ways of introducing your customers. And as Andrew's pointed out, bring new customers here because they're going to get really meaningful information where they say, I can do something with that. And that builds a level of trust, no one like, that you cannot purchase. Yeah. That's, right. that's, exactly that's absolute. Right. I just think that it's going to be remarkable. And I know we're doing that. We're kicking that off next week, right? Yep. We're going to kick it off next week. Well, um, uh, I think we're, we're just picking a Tuesday or a Wednesday and maybe we'll stay consistent with Wednesdays. Yeah. I'd love that. I'm, I'm ready for you. So I think um, for me, just having the opportunity to follow along with Deidre, I don't know about you guys, but when I hear her speak, um, I used oh, to not yeah. approach her um, when she would get off the stage because I didn't want to bother her, but I used to love listening to her. I was always so amazed at how she came off with like, you know, you just felt better when she came off stage. You had more knowledge, more information, mm -hmm. and she broke it down in a way that we could understand and explain and you didn't feel yeah. stupid like sometimes you do, right? Okay. So okay. my point is, is that, no, but sometimes yeah, we okay. do, Yeah, we all do. And so my point is, is that, um, you know, it's not just going to be good for you. It'll be good for your soul. It's like, 
that's a special thing. And I think the 28 days challenge as they continue on, we hope that you'll stay with us as we continue to do them because uh, they are really special for you. It's about caring for you, self-love, like Deidre said, self-care. I think that's so important in a day and age where we are all struggling with um, uh, some of our with mental illness, depression, more things than ever being locked up in the house, anxiety. And I think it's good to have each other to help get through that. Yep, the community is very important, connectivity. Human touch. Anybody what? else? Listen, guys, we stayed on for almost two hours and we what? haven't lost a soul in between oh Facebook and, and Zoom. We've had a thousand people oh, stay on. A thousand people stay on and not drop off. Lee, I think this was the biggest one yet. If you look at Facebook, yeah. no movement. If you look at Zoom, no movement. So and I was just going to say that. How many of you wish you had customers on tonight? Oh, my God. Exactly. So make sure that you invite all of your customers to next week's episode because we are going to be doing Lauren's Full Glam. Yes. And I don't know if Jackie wants to talk a little bit about, you know, a little teaser on what we're going to learn from you next week. So next week is going to be super exciting because we're literally doing every single step um, to glam up Lauren. doesn't take much, but... Um, this is what, what we do when she's on stage. So, you know, it takes a little bit more products because we want to make sure that people see her from really far. Um, but it's going to be exciting. So get ready. We're going to use the foundation six. So I'm excited for that. It's fun. And Marsha, I love that you're rolling over there. You look gorgeous. And you've been doing a lot of course with the 28 days. So I'm super proud of you. All of you. Thank guys. you. I appreciate that. My skin went through a whole little vacation purge but now it's starting to calm down again so well, that's been helping a lot that looks great and, and marcia you too you've been so consistent and uh just been great with with everything so i'm just really proud of all of you you have done such a great job i'm so glad that you joined us i love this whole interactive panel it was a big part of my requirements to do this that i wanted to have you guys on live with me so we get to see somebody else other than somebody like Don, who's sitting over there, Don Martin. I love you. I'm giving a big shout out to you, but we get to be with our husbands all the time. So this is a big break for ladies, but I'm so glad that you joined us because it's important to see that it is so important to lead by example and be a part of the challenges because men need to take care of their skin. Like Andrew said, it's not just about women. Men need to do it. And I know that Don is religious about the Lumiere de V products. I know he's excited about Deidre's up and coming health challenge and has already told me he's getting people um, you know, back on and listening to Deidre and so proud of you, Don and Lisa, requalifying at director, very close, wow. very close to your next, next level. new level. Don't I'm so it. proud of you guys. You guys are an inspiration of so many and uh, doing all of what you do, Lisa, in between hitting new levels, guys. I'm really proud of you. It's, you know, it's hard to, to hit a director a level of making 25,000 or more over a four week pay cycle, but to continue to do it is almost um, even much harder. And they have done that. They're growing. And I'm really proud of you guys. And, and now is the time for you, Don, to kick ass, you know, you and Lisa and just do it. That's what they're used to. That. Right? Guys, I'm excited, man. And this is good. And, and my, by the way, um, my skin feels great right now. I had to bolt out and do a fast track call. We came back and, uh, I'm like, wow, I'm gonna start using that super cream more. That was like magic. It really, it really does make a big difference. But all of you ladies have been remarkable. Vina, thank you for all the incredible knowledge and inspiration and oh, love. Yeah. Great. You are a great inspiration to many of us. And you know, I loved you from the moment I met you, but I just think you're, you know, there's something about warm and fuzzy that always comes through, even though I'll listen to whatever you say about my skin, still the warm and fuzzy gets me every time. And you're just incredible and all of you guys bobby and trista and cornelia and val and shondell and all of you wonderful ladies for being on with us um, means the world to all of us in my team and i think that uh we're just so proud of you guys and for the thousand of you who stayed with us for this two hours i think you'll all agree it was worthwhile we all look fresh we're all ready to go relax and chill out and our face is already done for the night so you can jump in the sack whenever you are ready and we're looking forward to seeing you next monday night and then of course as deidre said on wednesday wellness wednesday we're going to be kicking it off next week with our new 28 day 
28 days of health with Deidre. I love you. You're an inspiration to so many. I love you guys. Kitty, keep going at it. Sabrina, you're the best. Kimmy, let's do it.